Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Um, first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The link is down there. Um, if you want to get notified of future videos, that's what you need to do. So, what we're going to look at today is have a look inside the box of Kajikar's latest build. This is the 1700th Haruna. Okay, so let's see what we get inside the box. This is their third kit from Kajika 1700, and this is the Haruna Battle Cruiser, um, as she was in when she was built in 1915. So looking on the sides, um, there's a bit of information there about her. Uh, was it launched 1913, commissioned 1915? On the side, there's the other two ships, High and Kurishima from the, from uh, Kajika. Nothing on the ends of the bottom. So let's open it up and look inside. Inside we've got instructions. Um, obviously going to be very similar to the uh, the High and the Congo that have come before. We've got a decal sheet. One, two, three bags of sprues. The main hull is wrapped in a foam bag taped at the ends, or actually elastic bands at the ends to protect it and double folded. Bag of superstructure parts, metal plate, and that's just a quality assurance thing. So, I'll open up these bags and we'll have a quick look. Okay, so I've got everything out of the box. Um, first off, inside that foam packaging, we have the hull halves and also the two deck halves. Um, before you can see, the, the pointy bits are protected with extra little sprues around them. Um, some nice detail on the deck there. I can see the field planking underneath my thumb. I can see it as well. Not sure if you can on the video, but you will on the photographs on the website. Um, so there's some really nice fine detail on the decks there. And on the side, I can see there's hull plating, portholes. This obviously is a waterline model. There's no full hull option. Then looking at the parts, we've got what six sprues. Um, guns there. Main armament is hollow in the hollow in the muzzle. The muzzles are hollow in plastic. To it. Hollow funnels, some ship's boats there. Look here, we've got looks like derricks, more funnels, hollow, and small parts, nice small attachment points. All nice. We've got superstructure parts. Again, with nice, nice planking detail, some raised detail on there. We have another one with some more turret parts and some other gun barrels. So I shall have to see what those are for. I'll well, probably some about the bar bets, perhaps. I shall have to do some, do some looking. But they're hollow on the end as well. So it seems like there's some. I'm wondering if there's some sprues swapped over from um, the earlier ships of this class. Sprue of ships' boats. It looks quite nice. Another sprue here. Everything looks really nice. Lots of small parts. Another one with more ships' funnels. Funnel caps, derricks, lots of small parts there, searchlights, anch ship's anchors. So, considering the fact the Huna had three funnels and we've got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. There's obviously some parts are not going to get used. Um, what I'll also do is, we'll have a quick look at the instructions. 
as before the instructions are one sheet um, nice nice diagrams a layout here of all the sprues doesn't indicate which parts are not used um, and coming down it falls out as one long sheet top to bottom over the side colors Mr. Hobby Tamiya and named color guide at the bottom it's easy basically one whole color one deck color so those are pretty good so what I'll do is as per usual we'll go through the instructions step at a time have a close-up look at some of the parts um, relevant to each step photographs of everything will be on the website obviously much closer up everything you see on this video plus others will be on the website scans of the uh, instructions as well and um, what I'll also do is I'll I'll compare the sprues in this kit the Haruna with those of the high and the Congo just to see exactly what the changes are as um, I've been looking somewhere to find exactly what are the differences between the four ships of the Congo class as they were built in 19 uh, what 1914 to 1915 um, but I haven't found anywhere yet so I'll have to just compare the sprues anyway let's uh, go through the instructions and have a close-up look at some of the parts the third kit from Kajika is the Haruna from as she was built in 1915 this is Kajika's third kit um, the fourth one the Karishima will be I'll have a review up here in a in a couple of weeks as well and the Haruna was the last, the fourth of the Congo class battle cruisers. Um, this, uh, I've had a look at the history of the Haruna. So as I can tell, nobody's um, done a model of her in plastic before from when she was built in 1915. Um, Fujimi, Aoshima and Hasegawa made kits of her as she was um, during the Second World War and did lots of reboxings, but nothing in plastic from before them. Um, this uh, kit will depict her between 1915 and 1926 when she went in for a two-year modernization rebuild and came out looking a bit different. Okay, so a bit of an introduction to the kit itself. Um, look at the instructions, you get a sprue layout. There's six sprues of varying sizes holding 354 parts, but not all are going to be used. For the reason I mentioned when we're opening the box, there's a bit of overlap between the earlier kits of the ships in this class. You've also got eight larger parts, a metal base plate and a small decal sheet. Step one looks to be putting the bridge together. Looks like you have a few holes to drill, but there's some nice detail here in the searchlights are individually replicated. Step two is putting the masts together. And as you can see here, they're finely reproduced in plastic. Um, just have to be careful taking them off the sprues, that's all. Step three, and we're amidships, we're adding the funnels. Two of the funnels are on the new sprue W that's unique to this ship. Um, they're moulded one piece hollow, and there's also plastic um, funnel caps as well, which uh, show the framework. Steps four and five is getting the main and secondary armament together. Step four, you're adding the gun barrels um, for the secondary armament and step five is the main turrets and on this kit they're also on the new sprue w so they're slightly different from the congo and the high turrets and step six is reasonably simple you put the main hull onto the base plate and you add the the, uh, the secondary armament before putting the two part Step seven will require some careful work getting those davits off the sprues, but you're basically um, putting the ship's boats onto davits for fitting later and putting together some of, some of the other uh, smaller ship's boats. Step eight is a reasonably simple one. You're fitting the other ship's boats we put together in step seven, along with some other smaller pieces. Step nine, we're starting to pull the whole thing together. Main armament goes on, superstructure, masts, all the big parts in the middle go on, along with, as usual, some more small parts to go in various places around the ship. 
And steps 10 and 11 are the final steps of the build. Step 10 adds some small details at the front of the ship. And step 11 adds some more details at the stern of the ship along with the last of the main turrets. Next step is painting and decals. You get a small decal sheet of a couple of Japanese flags. Paints are named, called out in Mr. Hobby and Tamiya as well. You get a colour painting guide. It shows you uh, the ship's boats, how they're to be painted. And it's nice and clear exactly what is what. Uh, the ship herself is a, basically a grey superstructure, red below the waterline, although there's only a thin strip of that. And the deck is a usual wooden colour. Um, if you want to get creative, remember I did mention earlier the... Um, the camouflage colour she had very briefly, I think it was 1915. Um, that could be a pretty unique option. So, an overall conclusion. It's an excellent kit of the Haruna. There's a pretty high parts count, 300 plus parts, lots of small parts for you to play with. Um, you'll end up with a model that is quite intricate and very detailed. Um, there's nothing else going to be out there like it. Um, if you want to go to the next level, you could um, get the photo etch set for this. Have a look at my review of the Hi, the previous kit from Kajika. The photo etch set from that will be pretty close to the photo etch set that you can get for this one. And I think that adds over another 100 parts of photo etch. So all in all, it's um, another nice build. Um, up to the usual, up to the stands of the other ones, some nice little tweaks to show the differences between the first two ships of the class and and the Haruna. Many thanks to Kajika for sending it along for us to have a look at.